are here with Steve from Georgetown Square Wine and Liquor. And who did you bring here with you today? Oh, thank you very much. The, the, who I brought with us is Craig, the wine master from, oh, no, no, the wine ambassador from Stone Street Winery, which is located in Sonoma, California. Craig, welcome. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Well, thank you. you. Tell me some nice things about your winery. Well, uh, first of all, we're a family-owned winery. Uh, I think it's kind of important to actually talk about the history of Stone Street. We started in, in the middle of the 1980s. The name Stone Street came from the doctor that actually saved our founder's great-great-grandfather. He was breached during birth, and Dr. Stone Street came out in his little horse and buggy, wow. saved both mother and son. So the family has always held the name Stone Street in the highest uh, regards. And uh, so it was Jess Stone Street Jackson, the founder of Jackson Family Wines, and, and now Chris Stone Street Jackson. And Chris had four kids and named them all Stone Street middle name. So, <laughs> so uh, the name goes through the family. The name goes through the family. And, and when they started this amazing winery in the, in the middle 80s, they thought what a great tribute to pay for, to, to Dr. Stone Street. And uh, it's truly an amazing wine. I mean. Can I tell you a little bit about it, or Absolutely. do you want to? Absolutely, let's hear all about it. So uh, the original source for, for our fruit was in the Alexander Valley. We're literally located across the street from Silver Oak, and, uh, and all the fruit around there is wonderful. There's no issues with valley floor fruit, but as a company, we like to focus on mountains and hillsides. And, and when Chevron, the oil company, put 5,500 acres of the most incredible potential vineyards up for sale in 1995, we jumped at it. Uh, they put it up for sale. They were going to build McMansions up there, and they realized that uh, within five years, because of all the seismic activity, they would have been shaken down. Mm -hmm. So they put the mountain up for sale. Uh, Mandavi, I believe, and Jackson's were the only people interested in it. And the amazing thing is, Chevron's nightmare turned into our dream come true. Because of all that seismic activity, we soil. have uh, 31 different soil types. Yeah. We have elevations from 400 feet to 2,400 feet, mm -hmm. but the key is we face westward. And when you talk about Mayakamas Mountain Vineyards, you have to mention Diamond Spring and Veter and Napa. We're about 20 miles north of Diamond Mountain. We are in Sonoma, which means you're going to pay a heck of a lot less money for the wine mm -hmm. at the same quality. So, <clears throat> for our viewers, tell us a little bit about your Chardonnay. Well, you know, again, it's 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 about the place that it's grown and. The amazing thing about the Stone Street Chardonnays is, first of all, we have multiple vineyards from about 1,000 feet up to 1,800 feet. Uh, the wine that is not, uh, this is Sauvignon Blanc, this upper barn Chardonnay, that's actually Bear Point, but we'll just pretend it's upper barn, arguably the most famous Chardonnay vineyard in California. So when we purchased the mountain in 1995, uh, the Gowers had been farming up there since 1982. And there were two vineyards on the mountain. One is now called Christopher's, the other one is Upper Barn. Now this sits at 1,800 feet, so the fog comes in every night because the westward facing exposure covers the mountain. We have a 50 degree temperature swing, and that's why we can grow world class Cabernet mm -hmm. literally next door to world class Chardonnay. The soil is blue schist on this vineyard. Um, it's, it's unique and special because you have such a wonderful acid backbone, and I, I'm always kind of hesitant to say that because I think it might scare people away. Mm -hmm. But in my opinion, the best wines in the world have that acid backbone. Our philosophy at Stone Street is grow the fruit in the right place, no manipulation, okay. and that's all we're looking for. You'll also notice in all these wines, they're all at least four years old. You'll never see a bottle of Stone Street Cab that's less than five years old because of that tannin factor. We can talk about the reds when we get to them. The other thing I didn't mention about our Chardonnays is we do not inoculate them. So usually you get the fruit in, you crush it. We barrel ferment all of our Chardonnays. They would normally inoculate it at that point. We don't do it, and we haven't for forever. I prefer red over white, so let's talk about your Cab. So I... <laughs> I have so much fun selling this cab. I mean, first of all, you know, you're, you're drinking a cab, again, if it said Napa on the bottle, it would be minimum of four times mm -hmm. more. Just, mm -hmm. and, and Napa's done a phenomenal job of marketing who they are, sure. um, and I get it. And there are a lot of domestic Cabernet drinkers that like that big forward fruit, 15, six alcohol, I won't mention any names. That's not what we're about. Uh, we actually pick at about 23 bricks, the sugar level. Uh, we like lower alcohol wines. Okay. Our model is Europe. When you're picking your grapes, they're not as large, or there's, not, there's not much fruit or water in those. Correct. Correct? That's where the tannin management comes in. Well, tannins are very excellent for the wine to age slowly and better. 
Exactly. Correct? Well, I, as a matter of fact, I had a, a 1998 Stone Street Estate cab recently that was absolutely perfect. Fruit forward. Uh, not necessarily fruit forward, and I think that's the thing about these wines. The fruit is definitely there, but you're going to taste earth. And the other thing about this, and, and you know, you can smell this. Women have mm -hmm. better palates than men. Mm -hmm. You can smell the bay leaves on the mountain. You, you can, can smell the chaparral. And, and you know when You're you talk, to spin it, right? a little yeah, spin, little, little a little swirl, a little swirl. You know when you talk about smoke taint, it's kind of the same philosophy. Smoke taint is no good. I mean, you don't want smoke taint. Mm -hmm. Well, it's the same with the flora and fauna. That oil from the from the from the chaparral and the bay leaves gets on the skin, mm -hmm. and you crush it. It's in the wine, so you're actually going to taste that in the wine. But the way we tan manage the tannins with our reds is it's two years, about 30 months in, or uh, excuse me, 20 months in French oak and then three years of bottle aging. Mm -hmm. But while the vinification is taking place in individual tanks, and I didn't mention this, because of all the soil types and the microclimates on the mountain, we vinify every block separately so that you could taste what that vineyard at 1,000 feet tastes like compared to the vineyard at 2,400 feet. Sure. And when you come visit the assumptive close, I'll line up six single vineyard calves. They are made exactly the same way taste totally different because of where it's grown on the mountain. I'm excited to go try it. Yeah. And you offer these wines in Georgia. Yes, they're all available. They all sell very, very well in our store. Um, they're very excellent quality. Mm -hmm. So you never worry about suggestive selling to someone because it fits the dinner. It fits Absolutely. the occasion. One of the things you'll notice with Stone Street, not only are the cabs a minimum of five years old, we are starting to put about a quarter of each vin vintage aside for a seven year bottle aging. So when it goes into the store, I have a 2013, which is in your glass right now. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is currently available. And you know, for us to age it for you under perfect conditions and then still sell it for under $100 is pretty amazing. And I think when you taste that wine, I love buying expensive Napa Cabernets and never to make them look bad because I respect them and I only buy wines that I respect. When my $65 cab consistently beats $150 Napa cabs, um, it's, it's a great, great thing. Well, I feel like we have to cheers on all this information we learned and cheers. having you in Cheers. Today. It was lovely. I learned a lot today. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad you did. Stone Street. And these wines are all available at Georgetown. You'll be very pleased when you try them. Thank you.